In this video, we're going over Excel sheet column title. So give an integer column title, return its corresponding column title as it appears in the Excel sheet. So an example, we're giving a letters A to Z and it corresponds to numbers 1 to 26. And then our second example, we're giving the letter A, which represents a number 1. And then we have another A here, and each letter is represented by a factor of 26. So this is actually 26 times 1. So we get 26 plus 1, we get 27. In our second example, we're given a letter B and an A. So B is represented by 2. And then this letter here is a factor of 26. So it's 26 times 1. So we get 26 plus 2, we get 28. Let's go over the dot process. So we will be processing the letters from right to left. Now, how can we retrieve the rightmost letter? We can use the modulus operator. So for example, we're giving the number x. For example, we, we have the number x, which is go to 27. If we do 27 modulus 26, we get 1, which we can get a from it. Because 27 modulus by 26, so we get 1, and 1 is represented by a. Then after processing a letter, how can we process the next letter? Since we are, since each letter is represented by a factor of 26, we need to divide by a factor of 26. So for example, we have X is equal to 27. Then one, two, we have finished processing one letter. So we're divided by 26. So 27 divided by 26, we get one. This is integer division. Now we can continue processing one, one modulus 26 here. And then we get one modulus 26, we get one, we get another A. So we have here. So 27 is represented by AA. As we can see here, one letter A, another letter, letter A. Now the next part is, how can we convert a digit to a letter? We will first need to decrement. Let's represent this digit by Y. Decrement digit Y then convert it to a letter and convert it to a letter by adding a capital A. So we have, for example, if Y is going to one, we have to decrement it by one first. So we get zero and then we can get plus A and then we can cast it to a character. This is the same thing as zero plus A. which is equal to the character A. Now let's go over the pseudocode. So we're gonna create a string builder to keep track of the letters. And then while the input number, the column number is greater than zero, we're gonna find the rightmost letter. So for the rightmost letter, we first need to use the modulus operator. So we have column number modulus by 26. Then we need to decrement it by one. And then we can decrement by one and then we, we get plus A. And then we can cast it to a character. We need to decrement it by one because this case here, up here, then we can append rightmost to the string. And then we can remove, since we have processed one letter, we have to divide by a factor of 26. So we're going to set column number to column number divided by 26. And we should know that we are currently processing the letters from right to left, but we're appending the letters from left to right. So we had to reverse the ordering of the characters. So reverse ordering of characters inside str, and we can return a string representation of the string. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. For the time complexity of log n, where n is the input value, we can have o of log n plus o of log n. The first one is we process the input number by dividing it by 26 each time. 
and then we have the reverse ordering and our space complexity is of login which is our string builder now let's go over the code so we're first going to create our string builder the new string builder while the column number is greater than zero we still have letters to process we want to retrieve the rightmost character so column number modulus by 26 and then we need to decorate by, by one and then plus a then we want to cast this to a character and we want to append this character to our string builder And then we want to, since we are process one letter, we need to divide this by a factor of 26. Then we can return a string builder with the reverse the ordering first, and then we can to string it. Maybe we need a decrement to call number first, and then we perform the modulus operator. Let me know if any questions in the comment section below.